you feminist women out here making these good men not want to be good men i don't need no man i can do it all by myself can you can you i mean i know physically i can take care of myself i've been on my own since i was 17. do i want to take care of myself all the time no do i want to be independent all the time no i don't do i want to take care of somebody yes i do do I want to make sure dinner is cooked and laundry is done and contributing to the household and taking care of the kids? Yes. Yes, I do. And then we got all you twat waffles out here ruining good men. They don't want to be good men because of feminists. Yeah, I mean, it's that whole independent type of thing. I don't need no man, but I'm gonna still run in the streets and be loose and let everybody have some and then expect men to act a certain way. It just, you know, it doesn't work like that. I mean, the very word of independent means that you're, you're not connected to something, right? So if you're such a strong independent woman, that means you're independent of men. You can't say I'm independent, I wanna be independent and then say I still want a man and I still want a man to be traditional. It just doesn't work like that. And a lot of men are waking up to that fact and, and you know, kind of really pushing back on that whole narrative and you know the sad thing about it is that you have a lot of ladies like this that are out there that are the the, the uh, minority they're not the majority and it's always good to see women like that speak up because more women need to speak up because if they do then things can you know get back to uh, kind of a normal type of type of situation that we need you know I don't care how much you holler about you want to be independent as a woman um, you can't escape your, your your biological need, you know, the, the reason why you're here. And the more you fight against that, you know, the worse your situation is. You know, men haven't really, um, you know, changed too much over time. You know, men just really adapt to what women put out there. So if you have a lot of women saying I'm independent, men are okay, okay, you can be independent by yourself. If you have a, little, a lot of women out there that are just really loose with what's between their legs, then men are going to say, okay, I'm going to treat you accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, there's a lot of women that are just out of order. They're so uh, stuck on this thought process of being independent, um, you know, constantly thinking about money and all these type of things. But when it really comes down to it, those women don't really want to do everything men do. They they scream equality and, and all that, but they don't go work the hard jobs. They don't put their life on the line. They don't work all the hours. You know, obviously, if they have children, they have to take off. They have to do all these things. And that's expected. But, you know, uh, honestly, they really don't want to do all these things that they scream about when you hear feminists talk about equality. Um, it even gets to the point where they don't even want to listen to what men have to say, but they say that they're riding under this equality band. You know what I mean? And it just it just doesn't make sense at all. And like I said, it just makes it very hard for women that are like this. And it makes it hard for men to find women like this, because a lot of times what men will do is that you know, we can't help but to kind of see all women the same when the majority of women act a certain way. So if you have women that are acting in a proper way, respectful way, then that is what we see. That's the connotation we look at. We say, OK, these women, for the most part, are this way. It's the same way we look at women now, how they're acting and, you know, being in the streets, being masculine and all that. We have no choice but to sit there and say, OK, the majority of women act this way. So we have to act accordingly. So um, I, I'd love to see more and more women stand up and make these type of videos and, and know from a man that it's OK to do that because men, we need to see that because we live in a time right now where a lot of men are just not appreciated. You know, the average everyday uh, blue collar man is not appreciated for for anything. He's looked down upon all the women want the guys with all the money in the top 10, 5% or whatever it is, 2% really, you know what I mean? So it leaves a lot of men out. And then what this does is it, it just puts a blanket over all these women that are like her, because like I said, men have no choice. So what we see as the majority, we have to respond to. It's not like men, um, I want to walk around and say they don't want to deal with women. Uh, I'm just done with the dating world and all that. Men have been forced to that. So if you're a woman, you're watching this. It's not like men want this. We don't want this. Like I said, we haven't changed that much over time. It's women. And we we don't want this. We want healthy, respectful uh, relationships where people are, you know, playing the role that their higher power gave them. 
You know what I mean? You have to strip it all the way down to a biological, um, you know, type of sense. And you have to look at it like that. There's nothing wrong with um, being connected to who you're supposed to be as a woman. And there's nothing wrong with you being connected to who you're supposed to be as a man. It's only when we start blurring those lines and we start crossing over those lanes and we start disrespecting people and discounting their value based on, you know, materialistic type of things that we cause all these problems. And I think that we can slowly get back to that, but it's going to take a lot of effort and it's going to take a lot of women like this holding other women accountable. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.